And that was what we reported first on 7. A flight takes a fatal turn, crashing into the South Florida swamp. Two lives were lost in this tragedy in the Everglades. It was a pilot's girlfriend who alerted authorities that something was wrong. 7's Vanessa Medina is in West Broward. Near where this happened, she's got the story. Vanessa. Well, police weren't alerted to almost 18 hours after that flight went down in the Everglades. Now, the flight taking off at around 630 from North Perry Airport. It was just after sunset, sunset about 6 p.m. yesterday. It's one of the most peaceful times to be up in a Cessna, and this was anything but that. A crash in the Everglades, single engine Cessna from what we understand. A single engine Cessna 172 Skyhawk goes down in the Everglades. Be advised, all the units just east, their rising is just east of Mall Marco 28 on the south side near the canal. The Broward Sheriff's Office, Department of Fire Rescue received a call for an aircraft down this morning at about 10.32. Uh, we immediately responded units uh, from our station out in the Everglades. Broward Sheriff's Office airboats and choppers located the airplane just off of I-75 along mile marker 28. The aircraft left uh, Hollywood or Perry approximately 630 last night and appears according to flight aware it went off the radar around 645 in the evening. We only received the call this morning. The single engine plane leaving ATA flight school at North Perry Airport, where you see investigators arriving Wednesday. The plane traveled west, falling from the sky and off the radar shortly after. According to police chatter, the pilot's girlfriend calling police. He was supposed to, the girlfriend calling him, she, she was supposed to call her when he landed and he did not, his phone is offline. We made contact with the aircraft at 1118. Uh, and uh, once we did, uh, we found uh, two occupants, but unfortunately, they were deceased. The plane's wreckage still smoldering almost 16 hours later as the NTSB and FAA now investigate. What we assume is that the aircraft took off. It uh, had uh, a good amount of fuel, possibly. Um, when the aircraft went down, the, uh, the fuel ignited, and uh, that is what you're seeing. You're seeing the remnants of the uh, aircraft fuel that's burning off. So the bodies of those two men removed from the wreckage site, which is several miles from where we're standing. They were taken by the medical examiner's office in that boat ramp that you see behind me taken there, and they will have their autopsies. That wreckage of that plane is in pretty bad shape. The NTSB will now investigate to figure out exactly what caused that plane to go down, but we do not believe a mayday call was made. Reporting live in West Broward, Vanessa Medina, 7 News.